On the CS environment, authority files are managed from central tenant. It means that if uh, I create local authority file on member tenant, it uh, will be created on central tenant and it will be available for all other member tenants. So, for example, I creating, I'm creating a local authority file here, local demo. I've created it on member tenant, on college tenant. So it was created. Let's switch to central tenant on the setting pane. And we will see that the same authority file also displayed here because all settings managed, uh, all settings related to Mark Society are managed by uh, central tenant. And one more point about ECS mode. If we create new Mark Authority record on ECS environment from central tenant, this record will be shared for all member tenants. So, for example, I will use created by me a local demo. Um, share test. Let's save it. So, as you can see, this record was created as shared. And if user create uh, Mark Authority record from member tenant, then this Mark Authority record will be local for this member tenant. As you can see, here we have header local. Let's select the same authority file and create our Mark Authority record. So as you can see, this record was created as local. To support the uh, creation of new Mark Authority record, uh, two permissions were added uh, for application and two for settings. Let's go to settings. Here we can see uh, settings for Mark Authority app with managed authority files section where placed all authority files existing on environment. Uh, they could be with source folio its default. Uh, authority files and resource local. User with edit and create permission could uh, create and edit, delete local authority files. For example, let's create a local file. We need to specify a prefix and it should be unique. We also should specify value from which HRID will start and base URL is optional field and we need to check active checkbox uh, because only authority files with uh, active checkbox true will be displayed during creation of new mark authority record. Let's uh, select also one of them folio authority files. As you can see, uh, users cannot edit name, prefixes, HRID of default authority files. So now we have two uh, authority files with check checkbox, one local and one default. Let's go to Mark Authority app and let's create new Mark Authority records here in Actions uh, drop down menu. We added a new option which called new, uh, which uh, allow us to create new Mark Authority record. So first of all, user will need to select authority file from this lookup. He will see this model with drop down with displayed uh, authority files which have uh, uh, active checkbox true in the settings. Let's uh, create authority, mark authority record with local file. After that, uh, HRID was generated according to settings and user need only add uh, required fields like 1xx and all other fields. So let's save it. 
and when record will be created we will see detail view pane with this record so yeah record was created we could find it using search and we could uh, update it as usual via edit or we can also delete it as you can see authority source was assigned uh, according to selected authority file so let's try to create a new mark authority record with default authority file here will be one difference when we select default authority file we don't generate hrid and we require from user to add o1o field because um, because if user will try to save uh, mark authority record to select the default authority file and uh, he will see the message that o1o is required so let's add o1o and here user also should specify valid prefix of selected authority file or he will see an error so when user specify valid prefix and valid value he could save a new mark authority records and the same record created and we could even find it via search and it was assigned to selected To support the export of deleted mark authority records, we added deleted key and other parameters to this endpoint. If user will send this endpoint without any parameters, he will retrieve all existing records. If user want to get only deleted records, he need to select this key uh, with true query and send this request. As you can see, only deleted records are returned. Uh, so let's switch to Mark Authority app and delete one of the records existing. Uh, so please note that this record has uh, following authority source and we will find this record by this ID in response. So let's delete it. And when authority record was deleted, let's back to this endpoint and send it one more time. As you can see, we retrieved three records and we can find in response our deleted record. Yeah, without space. So here is our records to uh, use response for further export we need to use id only parameter and send with header text plane so now this information from response could be used for further export also here we have possibility to filter response uh, by authority source so type of heading i will show authority source filter option so as you can see previously there was uh, there were zero records and after deletion of our mark authority record now we have only one record in response if i will send this request without any filters i will retrieve all deleted records the next improvement is dollar sign handling i will show it an example of marcus authority record here is the record with dollar sign in the heading as you can see in the view it's displayed correctly so let's go to quick mark and here dollar sign is displayed as um, dollar in curvy brackets and if user want to add uh, dollar sign somewhere else 
in quick mark view he could uh, use the same value for example for price let's see what would happen with this auto saving nothing it displayed as expected and let's check detail view source and here is the fields field and dollar sign displayed correctly the same is implemented for marbips and the next improvement it's leader in quick mark view so read only uh, positions of leader now separated in read only box and editable position uh, positions have uh, this tooltip with uh, information about field its label and user can easily uh, change any of editable positions the same implemented uh, in mark authority in mark beeps and in mark holdings In the Mark Authority app, new search option LCCN was added to search by O10 field and subfield A, subfield Z, subfields. For example, we have this record, and using LCCN search option, we could find it by O10 field. This search option also supports normalization of search. For example, we could search even without spaces or with extra spaces and the same record will be found also we could find only by value itself without prefix and uh, truncation is also supported as you can see a lot of records were found and uh, in Mark Authority app, the search option also searches by uh, subfield Z of LCCN field, for example. And you will use normalization. The same record is found. Also in Mark uh, in inventory application, uh, the same option was implemented for Mark BIP records, uh, for instances. For example, we have this uh, record with following value, and let's try to find it using LCN normalized search option. So as you can see, the same record was found, and the same normalization rules also applied here. So with extra spaces or without spaces and even without prefix itself the searched record is 